In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect the Traxxas 8 software to an existing OPC data source. OPC is the primary and preferred way for Traxxas to collect data from the shop floor, from a variety of different assets that may exist, from PLCs or CNCs to SCADA systems, DCS, historians, a variety of these combinations of assets will support the ability to expose data using the OPC protocol. Some cases they do it natively, but in a lot of cases it's through a existing or third-party OPC server, something like Kepware, for example. So we're going to take our Traxxas demonstration system here that has a number of different lines and assets already set up, and we're going to connect this to, as I mentioned, a new OPC source. Now these connections, and the data values that we're going to bring from them, are managed in the tag section of the model track configuration management tool for Traxxas 8. As we can see here, a couple of different sections for managing tags. And before we even deal with individual data points, we have to first define that connection to an OPC source. In Traxxas, we call these access names. And in my demonstration system here, I have a few that are already pre-configured, but let's make a new one. We're going to do this by right-clicking on the access names folder select new access name from the flyout menu and then create an OPC access name. By selecting this it's going to open up a dialog. Everything that we configure in Traxxas we give some type of descriptive name to. I'm going to call this my test OPC source uh, for the sake of this demonstration. When we configure a connection to an OPC server the node specifies the computer or server, the machine where this OPC source or software is located. If it's installed locally on the Traxxas server, then we can leave this field blank. The OPC server, this is actually a drop down, but you do have the ability to type in here. This is going to be the programmatic name for the specific OPC software that you want to connect to. As we can see here on my local machine, I have a copy of Kepware currently running. If for whatever reason we wanted to try to refresh this list by changing the computer name, we simply click the refresh button and it'll give us a new list of any of the OPC servers that are visible to the Traxxas software. I'm going to select Kepware, Kepserver EX. If I have any other configuration, perhaps I have a specific path in that OPC server that I want to navigate to, specify some things about reading on connect, the type of reads, a cache read or device read. A lot of these are specific to the OPC protocol and you can read more about them online or in the documentation of the OPC server that you're connecting to. Also the ability to specify an alternate OPC server in case the connection to the primary one fails and how to even manually reconnect if we have a drop. So there's a lot of settings inside of this access name dialog that you can set up. For now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to select the OPC server I want to connect to. I'm going to do a quick test connection. To make sure that that came back, I got the chime from the computer. It means this was successful. I'm going to click OK on that message, and now I'm going to click OK rather than the big X to save my new connection source. So, new access name to an OPC server. This is readily available. I can now come into the tags tree. I can manage my tags by organizing them into tag groups. This is done by going anywhere in the tree and right-clicking, creating a new tag group. I can also create tags within an existing group, like this OCD folder that you see here. I'm going to right-click on a group. I'm going to select New Tag. There are a variety of different tag types inside of the Traxxas software. For the purposes of this demonstration, again, we're going to stay focused on OPC tags. As I do, I get a dialog. I can give this a name. I'm going to call this sign sim. When we create a tag from an OPC source or any source, I'm able to give this a type. There's four data types for tags inside Traxxas, string, integer, float, or discrete. And since this is an OPC tag, I need an OPC source for this. I'm going to select my test OPC source. We just created that connection. The item name is the address for this particular data point inside of the OPC server. Now, even I tend to not necessarily remember what those addresses are. And to be absolutely certain, I'm going to take the ellipsis button over here on the right-hand side. This is going to open up a tag browser. I'm able to see a number of different tags here underneath simulation from my KEP server. 
And I'm going to take the sign one right here. Click OK. Maybe I'll even change the name up top. Call it sign one. The name is for descriptive purposes. Key thing here is this is the value from the OPC server that this particular tag is going to represent. I now have a new tag in the configuration. And of course, final step here when I'm finally ready to start accessing data from this tag, maybe wired into other areas of the configuration, I'm going to open up the logic track client. This is a console for being able to stop and start services in the Traxxas 8 software. And if I come back here and I click on OCD, we'll see my tag is created. We'll see it's not loaded. I'd give my data collection service a restart, and then it would start to get values out of that particular uh, that tag uh, and any of the other tags that are new that are coming from OPC or perhaps even other sources. So OPC, vital way that we gather data from the shop floor. We're going to wrap up this particular demonstration. We thank you for your attention. We hope you found this information to be useful.